Hey guys, in this video, we are going to take a look at the new Lineage OS builds for our Galaxy S8 and the S8 Plus with a lot of stuff fixed and a great new refreshment. So without wasting more time, let's start. Okay guys, so this is the May build, like last build was the April build and in that build, there were some minor issues fixed. Also, camera was fixed, mainly. But now in this build, fingerprint has been fixed and is working really well. Uh, with the ROM, it's actually slow, but yeah, it is AOSP, so we don't care about if it's slow or it's fast. It's working and then it's great. So let's go into setting first, go into about phone, into Android version 9. And you can see 27 May build, it's unofficial and it is uh, the high, it has the 5 May 29 security batch and also the kernel is latest with the tag dot one seven nine, which is 4.4.179 kernel. And you can see May 27 build date. Lot of fixes have been done. Firstly is the fingerprint. So let's go into the fingerprint. I will input it again. So I will just remove the one which I had already inputted. Add fingerprint. Now we have to slowly slowly touch here on the fingerprint of course to add the fingerprint. And unlike Samsung, it does not give any warning if it fails, it will just continue. So it is actually smooth while you are uh, like actually adding the fingerprint and now let's check how fast it works like it's not fast it's slow but yeah it works that is the main thing and yeah it really works great. one more thing has been added Bixby button remapping now I guess it was removed in the previous build but now it's been added back and I can remap it to any of the action so I just uh, press the Bixby button and it opened the camera. So you can actually go to the settings and into system, into buttons. And here is the search button and wake device, I guess doesn't work. So I'll just try. Okay, it worked fine. So yeah, wake device works, but it will also open the camera. So if you want this wake device with the uh, Bixby button, uh, you just uh, no action. And now let's see if it wakes the device. No, so you have to set an action or the wake device function will not work for the Bixby and long press action. Let's just check it turn off screen. Let's press the long press. Okay, so the long press action is not working. I don't know why. Let's set a different task for it. So it was uh, turn off screen. Now we'll just uh, last app. So long press action is not working. Mm, I don't know why. Or maybe you don't have. A... Okay, let's split screen. And also, okay, so guys, the long press action is not working, but the short press action, like opening camera. So let's uh, launch camera. It works fine, as you can see. It can launch camera easily. Also, guys, one more thing is the developer has promised. Like he just said, he will fix hotspot and hardware composer in the next update so we'll be waiting surely for that update and i hope it will be really soon like june second week or third week so yeah i hope it comes really really fast and hope you can enjoy a fully stable aosp also it has some issues with bluetooth connectivity like the older but i guess those uh, I, uh, headphones work the bluetooth headphones work like mine at least so yeah, there are no issues with it. So, yep, uh, that's it. That was just a quick video for the new Lineage OS build. The flashing instructions and everything is same. So I'm just not going to repeat all that. But yeah, you can also dirty flash and try if it works. Just flash the new build or if you are like on the older build. And yep, that's it. Bye bye. I'll see you guys in the next video. And new updates on the Lineage OS will be updated soon. So yeah, bye bye.